So I was doing something different today. I'm replacing our sink faucet. Um, it's been sending out death signals for a while. Um, and we, you know, this is the standard faucet that came with the camper. It's rather short underneath here, but this is... <laughs> This is such what we've been dealing with. Uh, nice squeaky, so if someone gets up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom, they wash their hands. Yeah, that's what it's like. um, so today I'm going to replace it. Yes, I know we could probably, uh, I can probably pop those things out and then uh, squeeze some WD-40 or some other lubricant in there, but we just weren't happy with this design. Um, we like the single fan handles uh, to be able to pull up to get both hot and cold regulates it a little bit better than having to do it. two of them. And the one that we replace it with is a little bit out here further. Um, so you don't have to stick your hand so far back to get some water. So I'm going to be replacing this today. Let's see how it goes. So here is what we have for a faucet. This is a Wow, 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 found it on Amazon. It was like $40. Um, figure it's a you know, good enough replacement for the camper. Um, and if you turn it upside down, you could call it a mom mom. Um, but I figured out that, uh, you know, what we want to do is, you know, or, or what, we want to accomplish here. This is good enough for us. Um, plus it's not super expensive. It's still brushed nickel as are all of our finishes. Um, so I'm going to open this box up and uh, pull it out. Uh, all right, so here's the box. Got the directions, uh, single handle lavatory center set faucet. Um, have these gloves to handle the faucet with. Um, which has me a little worried that the faucet picks up fingerprints a lot. If I have to handle it with gloves, I'm guessing I'm gonna have to wipe off a lot of fingerprints. Um, but I guess it's good for installation to keep it clean, but I don't really need those. I can just wipe it down. Uh, they also came with um, some plumber's tape. Uh, I'm not gonna trust that. I have other plumber's tape that I'm going to use. Um, I don't need the plunger. It won't fit in the size hole that I have in this, you know, the, the standard hole here. Um, it's a little bit bigger than that standard hole. I don't really need to waste my time in replacing the uh, plunger and stopper itself. Uh, that's good enough for me. I don't just worry about the faucet. So, all right, so we'll take that out. Um, good, there's our there covers the holes, uh, prevents water from getting down. Here's the, for the, the threads. Um, you know, I changed out many faucets, so this doesn't scare me. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of handy people out there too that have changed out their faucets. Um, so, you know, let me know if this is something that you guys done in your camper to make some upgrades to it. All right, so I have the faucet out itself. Um, yeah, just looks like a standard faucet. It's metal. It's a little bit heavier than probably what the RV faucet is. Um, I can see here, you know, it does stick out just a little bit further. Like I said, it helps it out a bit. Uh, I mean, I'm worried about a little bit on the height for the handle going up but it looks like there should be enough clearance underneath the cabinet and the handle that it should work. So I don't think I'm gonna to be too concerned about that. So let's get to the hard work.
So I have the threaded nuts underneath this. Just pull that off. Yeah, this is really light. Um, you can see this is solid metal. This is all plastic. Um, that's probably why it's squeaking. Uh, I'm gonna wanna clean this nonsense up before I begin installing the other faucet. All right, so we're ready to install some uh, seal plate. Uh, let's put that in here. By the way, uh, I am not a plumber, so I admit that I'm probably getting all these words wrong, like seal plate and um, threaded nuts, uh, and, uh, threaded seals. Uh, um, I just know where they go. I just don't know what their technical term is, so. If there are plumbers watching this cringing, uh, feel free to uh, drop a comment. Let me know what their what that plastic thing is actually called, um, and then that way I can be corrected for the rest of my life. So, thank you for in advance if you guys can tell me what that is. So I have the faucet set in. I'm gonna go ahead now and put the other threads on. Full disclosure, um, I don't think I, well, the one I doubt I got the plumber's tape on there. I actually did not uh, put the plumber's tape on the second one. Um, what was in there before was, you know, what didn't have it, so I'm not concerned about it. Um, also, the space is really tight in this. I have like, it's like probably 18 inches of space. I can't contort myself back in there to really get in there and, and show. Um, so I just decided to forego the plumber's tape on the pipes, it's, uh, on the water pipes itself. So much easier, easy install right now. Uh, I'm going to clean up some of this water um, that spilled everywhere that didn't really get in my bowl that I was using to protect uh, <laughs> the wood um, and then I'll go out turn the water on and let's see how it goes all right so the water's on let's check it out here yep so I was worried about the handle height on this um, it's actually pretty good. Don't have to worry about that. And then just go over the water valve right. Ah, yep. Hold, yep. Down. Okay, let's see if we got any spillage down here. 
don't see that we have any water drips from new water drips. I have some old ones. Um, feels pretty dry. Again, I can't get up underneath there, so I'm doing a field test here. I felt like that was loose there, so I'll make some final adjustments on those. And I think we're good to go. So that was about 30 minutes all in all uh, install and kind of guiding, guiding you guys through it as well. Um, so I hope you found this video useful if you're thinking of making any upgrades or if your sink sounded like it was dying in vain and in pain as well. So please subscribe if you do like this. Um, there's more content to come. Uh, and I look forward to interacting with you all in the future.